taking out the trash made me the woman I am today, Megan tells schoolchildren about the importance of a work ethic, as feminist Harry urges men to join fight for equality. The Duchess of Sussex has revealed how her upbringing at an all-girls school and her first job taking out the trash as a 14-year-old girl has made her the person she is today. And her husband Prince Harry urged men to join the drive for female empowerment as the royal couple visited MacArthur Girls High School on the fourth day of their whistle-stop tour of Australia. The couple have taken the country by storm since arriving earlier this week ahead of a two-week tour of Australia, New Zealand, Fiji and Tonga. Earlier in the day, they joined an anti-bad vibe circle with surfers on Bondi Beach before making a surprise visit with schoolchildren during their morning assembly. Meghan spoke passionately to teenagers about equality, with the Duchess, who has even put her feminist manifesto on the Buckingham Palace website, saying she felt emotional hearing their passionate views. Harry, who is now said to identify as a feminist told the girls he wants men to add their voices to the fight for equality. Men can help as well by getting involved. We have to, he said. We need to get men's voices involved as soon as possible. His wife, who has been a long-term advocate for women's rights, told students that their projects, including making boxes of supplies for women in need, made her proud. You guys all remind me so much of myself when I was growing up. She told 14-year-old girls, I went to an all-girls school which was incredibly diverse as well. I think being around such empowered young women, it becomes something that you all just grasp onto to understand your world. It's made you confident, well-spoken. You have an intention set to really do something to change the world, and you have to keep it up. It makes me so emotional. You're doing really, really good work and I'm so happy that we're here. We give you our full support. Don't stop. The prince reiterated, get more people involved, guys as well. The royal couple arrived at MacArthur Girls School on Friday morning, where their surprise appearances turned out to be the worst kept secret on campus. As Gladys Berejiklian, the premier of New South Wales, teased them about being overexcited to see her, the teenagers fizzed with anticipation until the Duke and Duchess were finally introduced. Then, Cheers and excited screams filled the air as they walked outside to meet the well-behaved girls, who had been sitting neatly for assembly. Invited to sit on a park bench in the center, the couple watched a ballet-inspired dance performance from students to the song Power of Love before heading inside for the workshops. Teachers explained that the girls have been taking an integrated course on top of their usual studies, to give them 21st-century capabilities including creativity and critical thinking with a core focus on making a change in local communities. One project saw them make boxes of supplies to donate to vulnerable women via police stations and refuge centers, while another saw them create notebooks to pass forward for students to write about the women who have inspired them. Coincidentally, one pupil had written about the Duchess long before the royal visit had been announced. Talia Ahenhun, 15 told the Duke and Duchess how another group had created picture books to teach younger children about poverty and encourage them to treat those less fortunate with kindness and empathy. The couple nodded as Talia added, The younger you get your children educated on things like this, the easier it is for them to grow up and be aware of it and make a difference. Kindness and empathy lacks big time in the world, Harry said. It's so great you are passionate about all of this. Do you realize this is the generation that's going to make all the difference? Later in the morning, the Duke and Duchess were introduced to teenage boys and girls from the In League and Harmony project from the NFL. Sitting separately, with a mixed-sex group each, the couple listened to young people's growing up in Australia and day-to-day -day lives. As one young man told the Duchess about his part-time job, she empathized, My first job when I was 14, I remember taking out the trash all sorts. It give you a good work ethic, right? She joined groups of students from across different schools and Cindy who have been introduced via the program, which teaches them, everybody belongs. It's so important, said the Duchess. All these people you know of in your neighborhood, now you know them when you are united. You are proud of where you're from, you can champion where you're from and make people see it for what it is. Hey, sitting with a second group of youngsters, joked that he was clinging on to my youth at the age of 34, saying he now looked to the younger generation for inspiration. We are so lucky that wherever we go in the world, 
we're finding young people like you guys. This sweeping wave of kindness and optimism and empathy that seems to be lacking in some of the previous generation. You guys get a kick out of that, right?